What's up everybody? Welcome back to yet another video on our channel. Lately, the buzz around a novice cryptocurrency called Hedera Hashgraph HBAR, has been actively growing among the crypto community due to the great prospects that this coin is predicted to have. However, the competition within the industry is no joke right now, and there are some doubts regarding the chances of HBAR to be able to put up a fight with veterans. Hence, our team thought it would be a good idea to break down the novice player of the market and compare its major aspects with Solana. Are you ready? Then like the video and hit the bell icon, and let's dive straight into the topic. Why don't we start with some basics about the Hedera Hashgraph, for those of you who are not acquainted with this term. Basically, Hedera Hashgraph is a cryptocurrency network seeking to serve as a platform on which anyone can transact and deploy applications, but where a group of businesses oversee the software. The Hedera Hashgraph project was founded by Lehman Braid, a computer scientist, and Mans Harmon, a technology executive. Braid and Harmon jointly created a company called Swirls back in 2015. Swirls lately was rebranded to Hedera Hashgraph, and that's when the team started working on developing and governing a live network, Hedera, using its technology. Since 2018, Hedera Hashgraph has raised $124 million from sales on its HBAR cryptocurrency through a simple agreement for future tokens offering. Launched as a private network, Hedera Hashgraph has intentions to gradually allow more entities to join the network until it's finally made public at a later date. Hedera Hashgraph's most unique feature is its data structure for grouping transactions called a Hashgraph, which opens up new opportunities for both users and developers. Imagine a traditional blockchain as a tree that is continuously pruned as it grows. This pruning is necessary to keep the branches of blockchain from growing out of control and to ensure the ledger consists of just one chain of blocks. In Hashgraph, rather than pruning new growth, such growth is woven back into the body of the ledger. In both blockchain and Hashgraph ledgers, you have an ability to create a transaction which will eventually be put into the block and will then spread throughout the distributed network. In blockchain, those blocks are supposed to build a long, unified chain. If two blocks are created at the same time, the network nodes will eventually choose one chain to continue and discard the other one. List the blockchain fork into two different chains. It's like a growing tree that is constantly having all but one of its branches chopped off. On the contrary, every container of transactions within the hash graph is incorporated into ledger none are discarded, so it is more efficient than blockchains. All the branches continue to exist forever and are woven together into a single whole. By restricting the number of nodes involved in key functions like timestamping and transaction ordering, Hedera Hashgraph is able to quickly achieve finality, reducing the likelihood changes to the state of transactions might later be made. The other innovation presented by Hedera Hashgraph, which you will be surprised by, is a distributed consensus algorithm. It mainly aims to enable the community of users to come to an agreement on the order in which some of the users generated transactions, when no single member is trusted by everyone. This consensus mechanism is powered by two types of nodes, which determine transaction ordering and history as well as relay this information to other stakeholders throughout the network. By using a limited number of nodes to determine its history, the Hedera model ensures that the transactions won't later be undone. Additionally, the project can boast of dozens of big companies such as LG, IBM and Boeing that play a role of nodes within the network. This differs from the way other well-known blockchains achieve consensus, in which the state of the blockchain is determined by users who propose blockchains to be added to the chain in a market competition open to anyone. As a result, Hedera Hashgraph incorporates features that combine the advantages of both public and private blockchain networks. Hedera Hashgraph is governed by Hedera Governing Console 
which is charged with running the consensus nodes that determine transaction ordering. You may understand that this is not that good as it deprives the network from complete decentralization. As of 2020, a total of 39 members sit on the Council, including Google, IBM and Boeing. The Council's role is to manage the software, voting on changes, ensuring funds are allocated correctly and safeguarding the network's legal status in various jurisdictions. Well, that is pretty much everything you should be aware of Hedera Hashgraph. But what it can actually offer when it comes to comparing it to the major players of the industry? For instance, let's face HBAR with already established solution, Solana. Being created in 2020, the Solana blockchain has gained enormous popularity lately, due to a broad spectrum of features offered by the network. It leaves no chance for Hedera Hashgraph when we are speaking about the ecosystem. Currently, there are little more than 360 various Solana-based D apps, which are serving the needs of thousands of users on a daily basis. For instance, not so long ago a project called Sverog was launched on Solana. It is an extensive DAO community for incubating startups within the Solana ecosystem. With Sverog, users are able to easily generate and issue tokens of any standard in just one step. The tokens are issued directly without the involvement of third parties. The platform also provides universal services to help startups with the development of high-quality projects. The top-tier development team, which features experts in marketing, cryptocurrencies, investing and networking, did their best when creating Sverog. The platform will help Solana-based solutions to unleash their full potential by providing them with a comprehensive DAO and Guild toolkit, so definitely check it out! Additionally, Solana implements advanced proof-of-history consensus, in which the validator is chosen to be a leader of the slot through the proof-of-stake mechanism based on the quantity of soul held. Each validator is responsible for a continuing account, or tally of the passage of time, known as proof of history sequence and the next block of transactions for the slot they have been chosen for. This mechanism allows to lower latency, while noticeably increasing throughput because slot leaders can stream transactions to the rest of the validators in real time, rather than waiting to fill an entire block and send it at once. Summing up everything that has been stated so far, we can conclude that Hedera Hashgraph is definitely a prospective network which will still show tremendous growth in the future. But as for this moment, it's hard to HBAR to compete with Solana, since the latter is much more decentralized solution, with an extensive network of partners, projects and users, which also has better tokenomics. Meanwhile, we are waiting until the Hedera Hashgraph founding team will find its niche in the market and impose their struggle on the big players, leveraging amazing technological solutions they have to offer. At this juncture, we will wrap up today's video. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed the content, please make sure to like this video and leave your comment, as it does motivate us to create more materials like this one. See you next time!